Hey guys, this is your friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and a very happy Sunday to all of you. So friends, in today's video of Rabbit Structures, we'll show you how to insert the column reinforcements along with the starter bars in the footings. So friends, starter bars play a very important role in binding of the particular column with your footing. It acts as a development link between the column and the footing and so we'll provide this so for providing this first of all we'll go to the level 2 and suppose we'll provide it here so we need a section so let's go to the view option we'll go to the section option and after the going to the section option we'll just uh, select a section like this and if you want to just uh, rotate this you can just click on here and rotate that and after it is done we can just double click on it and go to that particular section here so now if you want to insert our reinforcement in it for the starter bars like this so how to do that so we'll see that so clearly delete this and insert the starter bars again so now we'll go to the structures option and then we'll go to the rebar option so as you can see we don't have any shape uh, which we can provide here so we need to sketch the shape for the starter bars first let us see how this object should be placed it should be placed in the current work plane and the placement should be perpendicular to cover so after you have made those changes you can select the option of sketch rebar so while sketching rebar uh, you need to just select one element first let's select the column and after that we can uh, you know start from here bottom because you know the starter bars are binded to the uh, reinforcement of the footing so we'll uh, just start uh, from near the reinforcement of the footing and we'll go up perpendicularly to the level up to the level which you want to provide the bar so we'll provide the uh, lateral reinforcement up to the plane level right now but for now let's go uh, to the top level let's say a little bit uh, here you can extend that later and then we'll click on escape so after that after we have uh, sketched this particular reinforcement uh, let's also uh, sketch so now you can uh, make this length as your let's say 250 so let's make this length as 250 and then we can click on escape after clicking on escape we'll just uh, take on this so the reinforcement will be created then click on modify then click on this and then we'll select your uh, you can also select the type of the bar before you know uh, sketching the rebar and after it is done we'll select the uh, spacing or we'll when go with a fixed number we want four bars of 16 mm in this particular column so we'll go with the two bars in this side and just click on modify so it is done here and we'll see it later in the 3d view now we'll just uh, select this after selecting this we can uh, mirror it so that you know we can copy this to this side as well so we'll use the option of uh, mirror from here and it will select this as our reference line so the mirror has been done so after the mirror has done we can simply create our lateral reinforcement or ties in columns so for ties let us go uh, to the option of structure then uh, rebars then uh, select the shape of our ties we'll select this one let's select the diameter of the ties as 8 mm so we'll do the placement as your perpendicular to cover and after we do that let's insert our first rebar here so we'll insert our first rebar and after we insert our first rebar we'll click on escape after click on escape we'll just select this and we'll go with the maximum spacing here and maximum spacing will give it a spacing of let's say we'll give it a spacing of 125 maximum spacing and then 125 and then we we want to model our lateral reinforcement up to the plinth level only so we'll uh, drag this we'll click outside select this and drag this downwards so we'll uh, do it in three parts like the one third of the part starting we'll do as 125 and we'll copy this uh, from here to here this will also be 125 so now we'll copy this again from here to here and we'll extend this and this spacing at the center will be 150 
so if you want you can split the members and also you can uh, define the lengths and dimensions accordingly so uh, we have this particular uh, level up to the plinth level and uh, spacing different spacing has been provided to the columns for the lateral reinforcement at the start end and center and we've also provided our particular starter bars for our footing so if you just want to see this in the 3d view so for better visibility we can just select this and then we can override graphics in view by element will increase the transparency to let's say 60 percent or 80 percent apply and then ok and after that we can select the particular reinforcements after selecting you can select the structural rebars apply ok and after selecting the structural rebars we can go to the visibility and we can select view unobscured and view as solid in the 3d view ok and after that click on escape uh, so this part was remaining so we'll select this part also view as solid view unobscured ok so friends this as you can see this we have the column reinforcement up to the plinth level including the starter bars we have the provided the starter bars 4 bars of 16 mm dia as our longitudinal bars and we have provided 8 mm bars with different spacing at the start end and center for our columns. So friends we hope that you found this video useful for more such videos stay tuned to our channel bye bye.